Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanu and I recently cleared TEF Canada exam after one year of hard work and if you are wondering, I got C1 in writing and speaking and I got C1 plus in listening and reading. So since I've been through this journey very recently, I know it is tough to learn French and on the top of that, there is a lot of pressure also to clear the exam like TEF Canada or TCF. So I'm here to share my step-by-step -step study plan with you and I hope it would also help you to some extent. So when I started learning French in May 2021, the first step for me was to uh, understand the pronunciation because it plays an extremely important role in French. And I think it is important to get it uh, right in the beginning. Otherwise it may get difficult to fix it later on. So as a first step, I started off with the pronunciation of different alphabets, pronunciation of different accents in French like exo ego, exo grave. After pronunciation, the next step was grammar. For grammar, I was using complete French grammar by Annie Hemingway. And uh, along with that, I was also following some YouTube videos. And I think I did that for about a couple of weeks. And then after that, um, I wasn't really enjoying it much because grammar is anyway not a very fun part for most people. Uh, so I thought that probably I should try something else also in parallel. Uh, so I bought a course on Udemy, which is called Three Minutes French by Kiran Ball. I'm not sure if many people are aware about it, but it, it turned out to be an extremely useful course for me because um, in every in every video he first introduces some vocabulary and verbs and then later on he would help to form some basic very very basic sentences using those verbs and vocabulary that we have learned so uh, i think he has about eight courses i ended up buying many of them and each course cost about 500 rupees so it is not very expensive and uh, for me it was very useful because I think about, after about a month of learning grammar to some extent on my own and following some videos of Kiran Paul, I was able to form some basic sentences. For example, Je voudrais acheter quelque chose d'intéressant pour ma mère ou je mange dans ce restaurant tous les jours. So I was able to form such sentences, but I, I was able to write those sentences. But if I were to speak out loud, then it was difficult for me. And so after doing a lot of random things like doing grammar on my own, pronunciation on my own and uh, a course by Kiran Ball, uh, after about a month or so, I thought I'm not sure whether I'm, you know, moving in the right direction because my target was to clear the exam in 10 months but before the exam it's important to master the language and so i thought that probably for me it's best that i find someone who can guide me through this journey the teacher uh, laurie dane on italki she offers intensive grammar classes and so i used to have five classes per week with her um, and it was extremely intensive because after every class after every day she would give me a lot of homework for the next day and then uh, in parallel i was also doing some other things like the course by kiran ball uh, learning some vocabulary on my own so it was tough it was a lot but that was exactly what i needed because i needed to push myself because i had set myself a tough target of clearing the exam in 10 months and for that purpose i needed at least six seven months to master the language so I uh, did classes with Loridan for about two, three months. Uh, and during that time, we were able to uh, cover the entire grammar. Uh, and we also started doing some of the writing and speaking. But after I bought the course with uh, Loridan, after a couple of weeks, I had this craving uh, to speak the language as soon as possible. I know most people suggest that master the grammar to some extent, and then probably you would be able to speak but for me, it was not like that. I wanted to speak the language as soon as possible. So I think I think in, in early June, I found another teacher on italki, Ferial, and I started taking speaking classes with her. At that point in time, I could barely speak a sentence. I was able to write some sentences, but I was it was very difficult for me to speak. And at that level, I started taking classes with her. 
and i think initially we started off with very basic things like she used to ask me things like where do you live do you live in a house or do you live in an apartment what do you like to eat do you travel do you work describe your work describe your day so all of those basic things and i think we did that for about couple of months and i got a bit comfortable with the language and after that we decided to follow edito because uh, you know that would also help me to uh, track my performance how i am progressing and also uh, learn vocabulary on different topics like environment travel work or transportation and that has really helped me to improve my speaking day by day so with lordain i was taking about 5 classes per 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 week and with uh, ferial i was taking about 2 classes per week for speaking with lordain my course was done in about 3 months but i continue to take my classes with ferial and i studied for about 6 months i think from june till november my focus was just learning the language i was doing some listening i was following some youtube channels for listening part i was i used to read articles on a daily basis and then in december 2021 i started doing tef canada ex- uh, exam specific preparation so uh, for uh, reading and listening i was doing mock test on prep my future and uh, tef academy and for uh, writing i was i used to write some fed divek for section a of the exam and some letters for section b and i used to get it checked by one another uh, another teacher on i talkie and for speaking i continued uh, practicing with uh, ferial and in january then i decided that probably it's time to take first attempt and that would also help me to understand where do i stand so i took my first attempt uh, in january and i was very excited and i think the exam went really well i was happy with my performance and i was actually most happy with the writing part and uh, uh, when i got my result in 7 days i got b2 plus in uh, speaking and reading and i got c1 in listening but in writing i missed by few points and uh, i was actually most confident with the writing part so that was funny but it wasn't a setback by any means and i was actually feeling even more confident because now i know the exam structure i was able to actually get b2 plus and c1 in other three uh, sections so i was feeling more confident and i knew where do i need to put my more energy in order to achieve even a higher score next time so i continued uh, practicing speaking with ferial and she even told me that she would help me with writing as well so now i was just working with one teacher i was taking three classes per week with ferial for speaking and for writing and after few classes i realized that for writing i actually didn't know the structure well and that was probably that was the reason that i you know didn't uh, get b2 plus in my first attempt and uh, day by day i was improving because i was practicing with her on a regular basis yeah so that's about it that was my journey and to give you an idea in terms of the number of hours that i was studying during this journey i think earlier i start i used to study for about 4 to 5 hours per day and on i used to study for even 8 to 10 hours per day so this is the level of hard work that you might have to put in if you want to achieve your goal or clear the exam like within a year that is completely possible but you have to work really hard all right so lot of talking i want to wrap up this video with three key suggestions uh, for you guys if you are really serious about learning french or clearing an exam like tef canada or tcf number one be consistent i know french is not easy it requires lot of effort and with work with family it gets really difficult to be consistent it's fine if you can't study for 4 or 5 hours on a daily basis just study for 1 hour but it's important that you do something on a regular basis otherwise it's very easy to give up and you probably would give up if you're not consistent number 2 find someone to guide you through if you can work with a teacher who is already experienced and is also well versed with the exam structure that's good enough if not then probably you can also work with a friend who speaks french and who knows the language well even better if you can find a francophone friend or somebody who lives in france and you're writing to your friend for correction and speak with your friend on a regular basis to improve your spoken french 
and number three don't let any failure stop you if you are very focused on your goal and you are very sure that you want to clear this exam then just keep going no matter what happens no matter how many times you fail just keep going keep practicing on a daily basis trust me that day is not far when you would be able to celebrate that success with your family all right that's about it for today's video please watch out for more videos and i'll see you guys soon bye